There is some cautious enthusiasm for an experimental drug called lecanemab. Now, the New England Journal of Medicine published results from a phase three trial of the drug, and it found lecanemab reduced symptoms of the disease by 27%. Patients with early signs of Alzheimer's showed less cognitive and functional decline after taking the drug compared with the placebo group. Now, the drug did have some side effects like headaches, brain swelling, and brain bleeding. The drug manufacturers say they do plan to apply for FDA approval by March. Now tonight, new research suggests steroid injections to treat knee pain could actually make matters worse. Two studies found while corticosteroid injections temporarily eased knee pain, the patient's osteoarthritis actually continued to progress even more quickly than those who received no treatment. Now on the other hand, patients who received hyaluronic acid injections reported less pain and showed slower progression. Now these findings were presented at a medical meeting and they should be considered preliminary until they're peer reviewed. Now, finally, as you're sitting down to dinner tonight, consider skipping the salt shaker. A new study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology actually finds people who never or rarely add salt to foods actually had a much lower risk of heart disease and heart failure. And that was true regardless of other lifestyle factors and pre-existing disease. Now, there's already substantial evidence linking high sodium intake to high blood pressure, which is, of course, yeah. a major risk factor for cardiovascular disease. All right, interesting. Thank you, Doc. Mm -hmm. All right.